let's look at the second property of uh, of algebraic uh, structure of convergent sequence so if you have a n and b n which are converging sequences a n converges towards a b n converges towards b then a n minus b n will converge towards a minus b what we had seen earlier was that a n plus b n tends towards a plus b and in the similar manner a n minus b n the subtraction of two sequences will uh, will limit itself to the subtraction of the limits okay so let us try to prove this also let us try to prove this also so proof of this goes like this again you have a modulus term so what we can actually we can prove is just take this to this side so what we will have we need to prove that a n minus b n minus a minus b mod is tending towards 0 okay that's what we have to prove okay now what do we have what what we can talk about uh, modulus is at least that it will be greater than or equal to 0 so a n minus b n minus a minus b modulus will be greater than or equal to 0 okay it's a modulus term now I can break this modulus again like we did in the earlier property we can just collect the a terms and we can just collect the b terms okay so attaching a to a n attaching b to b n now what do I know from triangular inequality of uh, not triangular inequality but a corollary of that or property of modulus property of modulus says that mod x minus y is always less than or equal to again mod x plus mod y okay again mod x plus mod y so we can just break it and from here we can get that this thing is less than or equal to mod a n minus a plus mod b n minus b and we know that this tends towards 0 this tends towards 0 because a n tends towards a b n tends towards b so we know something about it right so this means that this means that the sequence a n minus b n is being sandwiched to between the sequence a n minus b n minus a minus b is getting squeezed between the terms which are tending towards which are tending towards zero okay which are tending towards zero okay so 0 plus 0 will give me 0 so by sandwich or squeeze theorem by squeeze theorem what do we know we know that mod a n minus b n minus a minus b tends towards 0 that means a n minus b n tends towards 0 uh, a a minus b not 0 okay so we have just proved what we required to